when it comes to the staff, staff interview, uh, mm -hmm. I do remember the MVP here would be we should allow the users to just upload the videos just in a very slow or probably unreliable network, as you have called out. But here, just from mm -hmm. the high level design here, I want you to just keep stick to the topics. I'm a staff. Uh, I'm a senior staff engineer at Google. So basically, that would be the level seven. And yeah, mm -hmm. after joining Google, I've conducted more than uh, 300 interviews, ranging from coding behavior all the way to the engineer manager interviews as well. Okay, so let's jump right in. So here is today's problem. Think about if you were the main architect, would you please try to decide the U2 short, okay, platform. So okay. think about that. This is the, uh, we have the U2 system. This is very mature systems. But I would say just in uh, in recent years, we have seen a momentum of the short short videos, short form videos. Basically, you can think about mm -hmm. the digital live videos. But here, let's mm -hmm. think about it. We have the YouTube system. But on top of that, you need to build a new feature. That is the YouTube short. Uh, mm -hmm. If you need that, how would you approach that? Please jump right in. So um, my understanding of YouTube short is uh, mm -hmm. these are uh, one minute or uh, like videos that are maybe one or two minutes long, right? They're not too long. And uh, they are generally meant for viewing on like mobile devices, on, uh, just like on, on YouTube app. So they're um, more geared towards like quality wise and like the size for the delivery or like mobile network. They're more geared towards mobile devices than viewing on a desktop. Uh, the way the interface works is in a regular YouTube video, watch a video, I get a bunch of videos on the side or, or somewhere on the app and users generally click on it and then play it or it auto plays some recommended video. In here, uh, since these are very short videos, I watch and mm -hmm. you, user might skip to multiple videos within a few seconds if, if, if they are not interested in the video that we show, showed or video might be only 20 seconds and they might, like the recommendation should be really fast that we mm -hmm. show them uh, multiple videos like a feed one after the other. Yes. Uh, are those like yep. uh, right assumption about the platform? Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, that, yeah, I think, sorry, I just want to chime a little bit. Yes, I think what you mentioned really makes sense, but uh, sorry, this is the side check, but I think you are, you, are, you are just approached from the right angle, but a small tip here is that if you think that would be a very important information, try to write them down. Because I think okay, what you yeah. mentioned really makes sense. I want you to just write down the key information you propose. Okay. Yeah. So uh, functional requirement. One, uh, the mm -hmm. videos are m meant for mobile devices, primarily meant for mobile devices. I mean, we deliver to everywhere, mm -hmm. but it's primarily yes. uh, meant for uh, mobile devices. These are short videos. Uh, or maybe um, one or two minutes long. Uh, I don't know what the actual limitation is. And we, since I said it for mobile devices, should be uh, optimal uh, to deliver over slow network. Slow network, we should not eat up too much of their uh, data usage every month. I, like you just mm -hmm. wouldn't open our app. So they should be, so in, in summary, the video should be very short and delivered quickly. Uh, if you don't mind, I want to just pause a little bit here. So, uh, okay, thank you. And I think these are the great features. I'm so glad you just list all the uh, re functional requirements in this very comprehensive way. But I'm also thinking about this is the interview, which means we have the time budget here. That will be less than 45 mm -hmm. minutes in the setting. So today, I want you to just build the MVP by Okay. Thinking about the second point here, that will be we should be just optimal for the snow network. But basically, I want you mm -hmm. to just propose how we should just allow the users to upload the videos just in a very snow right. network. Try to prioritize this part for today. So there is some sort of a mm -hmm. discovery or like a browse service. So, um, mm -hmm. okay, we, we said we mainly, main way users would is uh, search, right? So we have search where users would search by title or some sort of a tag, and uh, mm -hmm. 
applicators can upload uh, their videos through like upload service. And once mm -hmm. you find once you find a video, you click on it. Uh, we need to have a way to locate this video and then like deliver it to uh, mm -hmm. these videos and upload would create that video in our catalog. So these mm -hmm. are the main components that I see uh, at least for now. And mm -hmm. looking at all the APIs, um, like search, watch, interact, uh, upload, they look like, I mean, there is nothing mm -hmm. like streaming or anything that I have to handle and uh, they all look like could be easily done with uh, some sort of a risk endpoint uh, from the, mo like, risk clients on on mobile devices or like customer devices are interacting with that system uh, through risk APIs and mm -hmm. uh, that's how I, I'm, I'm assuming it is working. So we are thinking there is a, there is a some sort of a, Front end or like a application gateway. Uh, since I said it's REST, it mm -hmm. probably could could as well be an application gateway like L7, so that we easily get uh, like common metric uh, logs uh, from here. They could look at like the HTTP header and mm -hmm. then do intelligent stuff. And although traffic comes through this particular uh, piece in our infrastructure, so keeping it cheap. Uh, I could use, um, like I could, I could definitely use some, something like an RDBMS and chart it on video ID, uh, but I don't have, mm. so it could be, uh, something like Cassandra or something where it could scale definitely when we have a hundred billion videos, mm -hmm. uh, but also very fast for this sort of lookup. Uh, the only query that I could think of from the video service is, uh, a creator opens this, uh, mm -hmm. app. And then we want to list all the videos for that particular uh, user. So it's just a range query on a given mm -hmm. video, right? And all the apps mm -hmm. uh, could be, uh, we should be uh, remembering users' interactions. Like, did they watch it fully? Mm -hmm. Did they skip it? Did they lock the screen? Did they leave the mm -hmm. app when I showed this particular video? Things like that. Like the user interest. Uh, those mm -hmm. could be uh, sent like every hour or so, they don't have to be for every single mm -hmm. video. The app can, that's not a huge amount of data on user device, right? Every video mm -hmm. would have maybe 100 bytes of data. Uh, so they could upload uh, like once a day or uh, once every few days. Uh, frequent, the better, but basically batch mm -hmm. uh, uploads of, of user uh, taste mm -hmm. or like user preferences. So today, I would say if this would be the real interview, I think the, the decisions would be higher. Uh, in terms of the, the, let's say, if that would be the senior role, I think the decisions would be higher or probably strong higher. But when it comes to the uh, the staff role, the level six, I think we it, it is still the higher, but probably that would be the lean higher. So basically, I think you are above the bar of the uh, the senior role. 